Hello everybody, this is Dr. Hart, and I have a special message for you students in ED7662, the design course. I wanted to clarify something that I'm seeing as an ongoing uh, problem in um, the assignments in 7662. Uh, for the, um, I believe it's the Unit uh, 7 assignment, which is the non-training intervention. And then in Unit, um, I believe it's uh, 8 or 9, the uh, training intervention. I'm seeing the same uh, problem coming up in all of these draft assignments. And that is that um, as far as the design elements are concerned, you'll notice there, there's a requirement in there that you describe all of the uh, required elements of the design and the tools and so forth. Well, a number of you folks are uh, including project steps as these design elements. So I see statements in here such as um, contact the project manager or um, analyze the uh, uh, training tasks that need to be done or uh, meet with the trainees and uh, analyze the needs. These project steps are not the design elements that are required for these assignments and I'm not sure this started early in the course uh, when you folks started to draft your non-training uh, interventions uh, I gave feedback to a number of folks and I think I gave um, some general feedback messages to everybody about what I was seeing but I'm still seeing these in the training interventions and um, I need to tell all of you that um, these are not the required design elements and they will not get credit and that's true for the unit um, the uh, individual intervention designs as well as for the final project what is expected of you for your designs is to show exactly how you're going to apply the theories that you have chosen for your intervention. So for instance, for the non-training intervention, let's say that you've chosen a motivational incentive uh, intervention and you have chosen as the theory framework for your non-training intervention, Hertzberg's two-factor theory. The two factors are the hygiene factors, and those are the basic fundamental uh, motivational elements that need to be in place to um, keep people interested and engaged. Things like pay, uh, things like relationship to your supervisor. And then, besides these hygiene factors, then there are the motivators. That's the second factor, and these are motivators such as achievement, recognition, the work itself, um, and so on. So that's the theoretical framework. And then in the intervention design, what you would do is you would explain how you are going to carry out these two factors. So for instance, you would say to accomplish the achievement um, factor, I am going to create uh, tasks for people in this organization uh, that will uh, put a heavy emphasis on achievement and goal setting goals and meeting those goals. And then you will explain in more detail how you will do that. Uh, same thing with recognition. You would say, in, in, and when people uh, do a good job, the following recognitions will kick in. And then you will say, I'm going to have a uh, um, uh, employee of the month, uh, I'm going to give out uh, rewards of some kind, um, and so forth. So this is the kind of design that we're looking at, not the project steps. Uh, same thing on the training side. If you are going to choose some learning theory, such as Gagne's instructional events, then first of all you'll explain the nine instructional events and then 
you'll explain how each of those instructional events is going to be carried out in your design. You're going to explain how you're going to gain people's attention and be very specific about that. You're going to describe how the objectives are going to be described because that's the second step in the in nine instructional events and, and so forth through the nine instructional events. Once again, not the project steps, but the actual how are you going to carry out and apply this theory. So I hope that this um, clarifies the situation. I am trying to hunt down where this got off the track. And if I got it off the track, you know, this is a new version of this course. I was involved very heavily in doing the new version. If this is something that I did through the design of the course, believe me, I am going to try to change it. Uh, I'm hoping to address this through this uh, recording. And if any of you have an idea about where this got started through some examples that were posted or something else, please let me know because I will change it as soon as I become aware of where this happened. So I hope this helps. I'm trying to give folks as much feedback as possible about this. Um, notice folks when uh, we have these draft uh, discussions. Read my feedback to all the other learners. Now I know this takes time, but believe me, reading that feedback to those other learners will help you stay away from making some of the same, same mistakes that they may be making. So once again, I hope this helps. If you have questions or comments, feel free to post them. I'll try to clarify this as best as I can, and we'll try to get this back on track before the end of the course. So thanks very much for listening, and I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of your work. Bye now.